Hello, everyone. Today, I want to tell you a story. Now, the story is going to be about something so small, and yet has the ability to wipe out entire existence of species. And that something is bacteria. Let's imagine we were dragged 200 years back in time. And let's say you accidentally stepped on a rusty nail and left the wound open for a few days. Then surely you would die or heavily weaken your immune system. You see, bacteria were the true monsters of our universe and billions of animals and humans alike fell victim to the hands of its, its unstoppable force. That is until one day, physician Alexander Fleming made a massive discovery. One day he noticed a green mold was killing all the bacteria he had been growing in his lab. Might have, been, might have been initially bad news to him, but then he soon realized the immense power of his discovery. And on that day, a medicine marvel was discovered, and the first antibiotics, antibiotics was ever released, penicillin. And since then, penicillin has inspired the creation of other antibiotics and saved countless lives. Essentially, antibiotics attack bacteria, which is dangerous to our health. So how do antibiotics do this? Well, some antibiotics actually attach themselves to bacteria, making it easier for our immune cells than deals with. Other antibiotics attack bacterial DNA, stopping their growth and then killing them in the process. At first glance, this all seems pretty good. But there is just one small problem. You see, evolution is making things more complicated. Bacteria are like humans, which means that they too will adapt and evolve over time to better survive in our world. How can this possibly happen? Well, some bacteria are just really, really lucky and are able to create certain mutations within its DNA. DNA. Now, this either generate proteins that counteract the antibiotics, making it harmless, or develop built-in pumps that actually reject the antibiotics before it can do any damage. Now, some bacteria actually collect DNA duplicates from dead bacteria to learn how to survive antibiotic attacks from the future. That's pretty fascinating. So who's to blame? Who caused this problem? What caused this problem? Bacteria? Antibiotics? Evolution? No, actually, it's us. We have caused this problem, and I'm here to tell you why. Firstly, our antibiotic use in meat production. You see, 65 billion animals are held as livestock every year, and roughly 80% of them are held in very unhygienic environments. Now, this, this is a perfect breeding ground for a dangerous pandemic. So to prevent that, the animal industry actually injects antibiotics into their bodies, into our food. That's very disturbing. Don't know why I chose that image. But yes, they, the, the industry ejects drugs into our food rather than spending money to manufacture a safer environment for them to live in because a cheeseburger has to cost a dollar. And because of this, we are providing bacteria more and more opportunities to boost their own immunity to common antibiotics. The bacteria, which has learned to be resistant and unaffected by these antibiotics, passes on from animal to animal and then to humans without being noticed until people became sick. This is a, wait, this is exactly what happened in late 2015 when scary news arrived from China. Resistance against colistin, an old drug that has faded into its relative disuse because he had serious side effects, which meant that there were little resistance against it until China had decided to use colistin in meat production. Now, resistance against colistin is very, very bad news for all of us. It may mean that humanity's last line of defense no longer exists and can lead to a whole lot of dead people. But in all honesty, 
this resistance was sure, guaranteed, 100% guaranteed to happen. You know how the animal industry was one of the biggest concerns for antibiotic resistance? Well, pigs in Chinese pig farms have been injected with colistin for years, leading to resistant bacteria spreading and entering our bodies. And by creating the modern world, we have already set the infrastructure for a dangerous pandemic. Studies suggest that antibiotic resistance will kill over 300 million people by 2050. That's more deaths than cancer. So in conclusion, if humanity plays its role right, we have the ability to save lives. But if this power is not being used correctly, our own weapons can be turned against us. If you want to stop this chain of immunity, the first approach is to simply improve the living conditions of our livestock. Not only does this benefit the animals, less drugs and antibiotics will be exposed to bacteria to gain the upper advantage of. We'll just have to come to the fact that our Macca's cheeseburger might have to cost more than a dollar. Thank you.